Thanks all for joining. Uh, good, um, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, as John said, this talk is titled Leverage Simulation in the Design Process with Integrated CAD and Simulation. So I'll be talking for a few minutes here, and then my colleague Jason Kamani will, will continue after me. So this talk, what we're going to be talking today about is of course, simulation and ways for more users to access simulation, especially users working with CAD. Focus will really be around things like efficiency of simulation, different ways to do things, and especially how CAD and simulation can talk to each other. What you're seeing here represents on the left a common workflow around CAD and how CAD and simulation talk and connect to each other. We have separate tools. There's a lot of manual aspects here. And in general, you know, we would say these are sort of inefficient processes. And here at Dassault, we've been working very hard to help improve the efficiency and bring CAD and simulation together. Uh, together to remove some of these barriers. And that's a key thing that we want to talk about today is really the integration of CAD modeling and simulation. When we put these two together, we've really just sort of merged these two words, modeling and simulation, to refer to something that we, to use the phrase mod sim, just it's just mod modeling and simulation. And uh, when we say mod sim, which I will uh, refer to a couple times today, uh, this is what we mean. It's around integrating these two and things we've done to bring them closer together. Uh, and the reason for this, uh, the key reason I mentioned efficiency, another thing we think about is left shifting. That's a phrase you also hear. And, and the reason for this to bring CAD and simulation closer is really to reduce cycle times, improve efficiency. We want you to perform more simulations and we want more people to perform simulations. So with this brief intro, we have three main themes, topics that we want to talk about here. Uh, some technologies as it relates to integrating CAD and simulation. <clears throat> Second, unified licensing for our five simulation physics domains. And we talk about this in this context because we also see that this is a way to decrease the barriers for engineers using CAD, especially CAD, to access simulations, analyst level simulations in an efficient way. Mm -hmm.